all love tower defense games, especially here on the channel. We've been playing tower defense games for years, and it started off with a game called Plants vs. Zombies, arguably one of the most fun tower defense games ever created, besides Balloon's Tower Defense, obviously. And in today's video, we've decided to take Plants vs. Zombies and Balloons and combine them together, and we took the map from Plants vs. Zombies and thrown it into Balloons, and I'm just so excited. So let's just jump right into this and we get to play i'm just ready i have no idea where these balloons are even gonna start so they come out of like the chimney here but i have no idea where they go so they're gonna like slide around this way and i think they go all the way up across this area so the question is if what do you think what tower is the most like we have to put things on the the tiles though that's the only way that's the, that's the rules we have to put things on the tiles like we're actually playing Plants vs. Zombies. For those of you that have never never played Plants vs. Zombies, the way that it's a little bit different is that you actually have specific tiles where you can put down plants. So each tile is right here, and then normally the zombies would come from the right side. So now we are going to have the exact same thing, but we need to do it to defend from the balloons. So probably like in the middle area, we're going to need to do that. And then we also have our bananas. Instead, I'm also going to make it to make it more like Plants vs. Zombies, I'm not going to upgrade to the bank. Oh, I need that to get rid of that balloon. Perfect. Thank you. There we go. We can get valuable bananas because in Plants vs. Zombies, you actually have to collect the sun from the sunflowers yourself. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have to do that as well, which is going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit annoying. I'm not used to having to collect all the sun. You know what I want to do? I actually want to do a test and learn exactly what is the fastest like way to make money like what allows you to make the most amount of money with banana farms that would be a very interesting thing to find out and i would love to see it might be a little bit difficult but i would love to do that just to find out like really what is the best and fastest way to make money i know people have already done this and done like the mathematics for it and written it all down but honestly i can't be bothered to read it because i'm that just seems like a lot of work and less fun than to actually do science yourself all right i probably want to put down something that's going to help uh i guess i can put i still have a free dart monkey so i'm going to put my free dart monkey oh, i kind of want to put the free dart monkey right here there we go. Uh, I'm going to get crossbow here because I think crossbow is going to be way better. Sharpshooter. And then I have to go about making sure I collect all the bananas too. Oh, there we go. We can put this on this little area right here. All right. Increased production. Greater production. This banana farm, once it actually gets banana plantation, makes bananas really, really fast. So I'm going to put a bomb shooter on this path right here on this little area. This is so funny, actually. This is making me miss plant versus zombies. For the If you were here... When we originally played Plants vs. Zombies on the channel and live streamed it, and that's back when I lived in St. Petersburg, let me know. Comment down below if you've been here that long watching the content. I would love to see if we have any OG fans here in the comment section. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. And I also appreciate you if you've just now found the channel and showing up and watching the plants or the balloons content. It's really awesome. And thank you so much for all your continued support throughout the years. You people are all just you're all amazing and i want to put a village right here that's where i want to put a village i mean because i think that's probably the best area on this this particular tile you know because remember we can only put them on the tiles each one thing per tile that's the rules because we're playing by plants versus zombies rules it actually looks like you're going up on a roof isn't that crazy that's so bonkers that's how it works what is, what's it called it's like it's an illusion because it's a flat screen, but it looks like it's going up. I always underestimate the value of sharpshooters. They have crazy range, they have great pierce, and they're able to deal with, like, so many things. And I just absolutely love them. So I'm going to start saving up a little bit more money now because I would love to get this banana research facility. Just because now it'll start giving us crates, so we don't have to catch each individual. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that we have to deal with a boss balloon. Holy cow, holy cow. I was not ready. I was not prepared for a boss balloon. I was not, I was not prepared for a boss balloon. I did not take this off. I holy cow, we have to deal with a boss balloon. All right, well, this is going to be a change up to the video. Okay, I need counter espionage. Uh, how else do you beat this balloon? Uh, I Do I need to sell these? I only have $4,000. I, I was not prepared to have to deal with this. Oh, uh, it went invisible, so it's now impenetrable to what? 
normal dart. So the normal dart monkey doesn't able to do any damage to it because that's the, what it changed to. I don't think Sada can do any damage to it either. So now it only has 12,000 HP. Holy cow. Um, We have to sell all of our banana farms. It's the only way we're going to win is if we sell every single one of our banana farms. Okay. And now I got to put, uh, I'm going to put this right here. This needs to be upgraded into a monkey pirate. It has to be upgraded into a monkey pirate or else we're still going to lose. We're going to use this monkey pirate to absorb the, let's get uh, long range and let's get crow's nest. There we go. It's not doing much damage to it. Uh, let's upgrade this to uh, -da 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 monkey intelligence bureau. Let's put a sniper down. Let's get deadly precision and faster firing so we can start getting a little bit more damage done. It has 12,000 HP. Can we get enough HP done to destroy it in time? I have no idea. I was not prepared for a boss balloon, but I guess that's just how it works when you're not, you're not, sometimes you don't expect it. Let's go. This is going to be okay. It's, it's getting us an okay amount of pops, but the problem is it's immune to physical damage right now. That's why I upgraded this to MIB. We have $3,000. What can I put down to help us pop more? Mm, I guess I'll put down a dartling gunner on this path. There we go. Uh, Dartling Gunner, let's get Focus Firing and then Laser Shock. Advanced Targeting, faster Barrel Spin in a, if I could. All right, we're down to 10,000 HP. We should be able to do this. Oh, let's use that ability. That should help out. Yeah, this this Dartling Gunner is doing great. It's already popped 300. Oh no, it's invis. Oh no, we have nothing to deal with it. Uh, the only way we can get rid of it is if we sell this. We need to put another Ninja down. And then we need to make sure this Ninja has Counter Espionage and then Double Shot. And then, then it, it reveals the the uh, the balloon. That's how it works. Because the balloon actually goes permanently invisible. And the way you get it out of invis is if you have something like counter espionage that decamos balloons. Okay. All we have to do is there's a fortified ZOMG underneath this. But that is okay. Because that means that at the end of this round, uh, as soon as we pop this, I can actually use the... Monkey Buccaneer that we've put down, and I can absorb it. All right, we're going to make this work, my friends. I was not expecting this boss balloon, but I think we have it right where we want it to, and I think we might be able to actually beat this. And I can actually put faster barrel spin down, which is going to be really nice. Do I want to get Hydra Rocket Pods or a Laser Cannon? Probably Laser Cannon, because Laser Cannon is really strong. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to sell this, and I have to... It went invis again. So Ninja Discipline, Sharp Shuriken, Counter Espionage. There we go. And then that reveals it again. Okay. Oh my gosh, 4,000. 3,000. This is not going to be easy. But now we have more people like uh, tuning in to, to help do some damage to it. We have this guy that's in range too, so he's going to help. Okay, 2,000. And I'm just going to be spamming my Sada ability. And then as soon as it turns into the ZOMG, let's absorb it. Oh my gosh, it has 1,000. I don't know if we're going to be able to do, do it. Oh my gosh, this is so close. Holy cow, this is so close. 300, 100 HP. No, it won't use the... Oh, I can't use the ability. Oh, it has to be... Oh, I was not ready for it. Holy cow, that was so hard. Okay, we can do this, I believe. Okay, so I've realized, though, the Monkey Buccaneer is not going to work for this. So what we're going to have to do is actually I'm going to sell that and buy May Moab. Okay, now I need to put this... This ninja is going to go here with counter espionage, double shot. That's going to help us out. Okay, but now that we know that this bad boy's coming, I think we're going to be able to deal with it. It kind of stinks that we do not have any banana farms anymore. We had to sell them or else there was no chance that we were going to be able to win this. Uh-oh, this thing's probably going to go back in Viz soon, and I'm going to need another ninja. Probably right here. So, distraction. There it goes. Wait, did it just go in Viz? No. There it goes. It went in Viz. So, I got to sell that. Counter espionage and then double shot. I've had to do a lot of selling and, re and, and tower management during this, which I was not prepared for. Okay, we can use the Sato ability. But now we know that we have to deal with the, this boss balloon. We're going to be ready this time, okay? We're going to be taking him out, and I am I am so ready, okay, friends? All right, we have 2,000 HP. All right, we'll be able to take him out. And, yeah, this, this guy doesn't stand a chance, friends. We're going to be able to clean him out, and we're just going to be able to move on with our day as we continue with our amazing Plants vs. Zombies strategy that has a, <laughs> has a cameo boss appearance. There we go. And this thing is just going to take a little bit of time to defeat. Okay. We finally managed to deal with that. And now we left our finances in absolute ruin. Okay. Back to making banana farms. What am I supposed to do? I I had I had no idea that was on its way. Everything goes into making as much money as we can for round 60. Because that's when the next boss balloon is going to show up. Okay. 
So I'm going to get banana plantation. Banana research facility. That is very expensive. But I think I kind of need that. Banana plantation and monkey banks are not in the same category. Like, banana plantations are here. Monkey banks are here. And then banana research facilities are, like, up here. But banana research facilities are also, like, $20,000. And that's really expensive. We just need, like, an extra thousand and we're going to be good to go. Put that guy down. And boom. All right. We finally have a banana research facility, which is so very nice. And that's going to start helping us get crazy money. And then we're going to upload this to a banana research facility. Do I want more than just two banana research facilities? I think what I want to do is... This is making me enough money for now. I think I'm just going to have two banana research facilities. Because I, honestly, I don't think I can handle any more than two. Having to pick up all the bananas. And then we can start working on making sure all of these towers are a lot stronger to deal with that boss balloon. Because, man, that was not easy. We beat the boss balloon, but I forgot that a fortified ZOMG isn't actually able to be absorbed by anything under a pirate lord. I thought I thought I was being clever. I, it turned out I was I actually played myself, and I would have been fine if I had just gotten the sniper. Five rounds before we have to deal with this boss balloon. I want a crossbow. I think a crossbow master is going to be really strong here. And anything under the monkey village is going to be very worth upgrading. I probably want to also get balloon jutsu as well. We're at 22,000. All right, the next boss balloon is on its way, friends. Let's take this guy out. All right, crossbow master. Okay, here's the boss. Here it's coming. Oh my gosh, 70,000 HP. That is a lot of HP. All right, let's get balloon jutsu. How is this friend, this guy doing? Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job, but still 60,000 is, uh, that's a lot of HP. I, am I going to have to sell these banana farms in order to pop this boss balloon? Because that's kind of what it's looking like right now. Oh, wait, no, this guy's locked. Why is this guy locked? Stop. No, 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 become unlocked. Become normal. I, this is not looking good for us, friends. I might have to sell these banana farms again, and I don't like the fact that I have to sell my my banana farms again, okay? This is very upsetting. 41,000. Is it possible to deal with this? I don't know. He's, he's about to go out of range. Uh, this dark gunner is doing an okay job. It's still invis, but we lost the invis. 34,000 HP. Uh, do I need to sell a banana farm? I have to make that decision now. I'm going to sell this one. And then I'm going to get Hydra Rocket Pods and then also Rocket Storm. Because Rocket Storm does a lot of damage. And I think that's going to help. That should be all we need to be able to destroy this. It leaves us with $13,000 though. So we might be able to buy something else that can also help. How does this do? That does a pretty good job of taking, doing a pretty hefty chunk of damage. So I'm going to put another sniper down with that. I don't, we don't need main Moab, so that'll be okay. 27,000 HP. All right, another sniper. Full metal jacket. Strong, fast firing, even faster firing. There we go. I actually don't think that's going to be able to do anything because it's out of the range of the village, but I can't... Oh, I could have actually put it right here. That would have been a smarter thing. Oh, I don't have anything. Uh, I actually have to sell this because I have to put a, a ninja down because we need to remove the camo from it. This boss balloon is proving to be very difficult. This boss balloon is kicking my butt, my friends. This boss balloon is absolutely destroying me. Dr. Zomboss has one-upped me. 20,000 HP. We can do 20,000 damage, right? Or do I have to... There's no way I have to sell this again. Uh, I'm not selling my other banana farm. I refuse to sell my last banana farm. It's too precious to me. And that's... Oh, yeah. Our crossbow monkey is shooting from here. That's fine. We can definitely do 15,000 damage. Not if I have to put down another uh, da -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, counter espionage. Go, ninja man. Oh, that's a lot of lost damage. 10,000. We can do this. We can deal with this balloon. We just got to make sure that it, it goes down now. Now. Five. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be really close. Four. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be really close. 2,000. All right. Use this ability. Okay. Pop it. Okay. Just don't let it get to the end. The end is right there. We have to stop it at all costs. We only have $55. I don't have any other money. Oh my gosh, this is so close. Oh my gosh, we made it. Balloons got by. We actually lost lives. Some of the balloons actually got by and we only have 11 lives now. That was, that was too close for comfort, my friends, okay? That was crazy, crazy, crazy. All we have to do is get ready to deal with this thing in like a few rounds. I think I just want another banana farm. I know I feel like I'm not... How long does it take for this thing to even make its money back? Will it worth? Will it be worth it to make its money back by the time I spend $20,000 on it? I don't know if I have a choice. What is my goal? What can I... What's going to actually be able to really deal with this boss balloon? I don't know. 
I have no idea what I can, what tower I can buy that'll instantly solve all of my problems. So I have two banana plantations. I can sell it for $21,000. So that does give me a decent amount of my money back. So as long as this can make like $10,000 in, in the time frame, I think we're going to be okay. And we still have 11 rounds to go. So I can start working on getting this, this super monkey down right here, which I think I'm going to get... I'm gonna go with the Tech Terror, because the Tech Terror gives me the extra rank. The reason I always go Tech Terror is I feel like I always want the Super Range and Epic Range. Like, I don't want Knockback or Ultra Vision unless I'm going Legend of the Night. And it's not worth it to go Sun Avatar, because you can't really go past that, because it's too expensive. So I think Robo Monkey is normally your best bet for just, like, you have some spare money and I don't really know what to do with it. And I think Robo Monkey is normally the best option. Because look, like Robo Monkey with the super range and the village is able to attack balloons from the start and all the way up and around here. And I think that's going to give us a huge advantage. We're going to be able to sell both these banana farms for $40,000. If we make enough money, big if, we might be able to get the anti-balloon gunner. If we play our cards right. I don't want to sell this darling gunner. This is all doing too well. What is popping everything right now? I guess this sniper monkey with 83,000 pops. Cripple Moab could also be huge. I need to sell this tower. I can go ahead. I'm going to get Tech Terror. I'm, I also think I want to get Super Brittle. I think I want to put Brittle because that I know it's 30,000, but it actually makes them do take more damage. And I think that's kind of what we need right now is we just need more damage. So I can just go up and make sure we can get Super Brittle with larger radius and refreeze. There we go. We're on round 77. I need $33,000. I'll be able to get that no problem. And super brittle, like embrittlement. So detects camo balloons and all balloons hit become brittle, taking extra damage. So that's huge. Like, I think that's really, really nice to have. And especially having super brittle giving us that extra damage we need on the balloon. Mwah. That might not affect it. I think it makes it take extra damage, though. I'm pretty sure that it does. And if that's the case, we can also get cripple Moab. Because Cripple Moab also is going to make it take more damage on top of that. So anything that we can do to make things just deal more damage and get more bang for our buck. Because we already have some of the strongest towers in the game here. Right? We have the, we have our Crossbow Master. We have Sada. We have a Dartling Gunner. We have a lot of damage. But if we can amplify that damage, we can get a lot more bang for our buck. Okay, this balloon is about to show up. I'm going to wait because as soon as the round spawns, that's when we get all the money. So I can get that. Sell everything. And then it's time to shine. Okay? Here we go. We can beat this. We can beat this balloon together, my friends. This was a very surprised uh, event, but it actually made this map really difficult, which is super fun. Okay, so we can go ahead and get May Moab. We can use that ability. We can use this. I can actually unlock this and have this go. We're at $46,000. We're actually going to be able to get... Uh, oh my gosh, this thing has 280,000 HP. How in the world are we supposed to ever deal with this? This is going to be very difficult if we're going to be able to pull this off, but we're going to try. We It's going to take everything that we have to defeat this boss balloon, like truly. This is 250,000 HP. Okay, we can use. We got to make sure we use all of our abilities. Okay. Oh, I never bought Super Brittle, and then I just bought Super Brittle. I'm so bad at this game. I can't believe I didn't buy Super Brittle. I never bought Super... Oh, that was such a mistake. That's so tragic. That's okay. It still makes it take extra damage. It's at 180,000 HP. Okay, what do we do? All right, Sada is out, but Sada can't do anything. So she has her abilities. That's okay. This guy is out of range, so we sell him now. And then as soon as the crossbow monkey is out, we also sell the crossbow monkey. And I think we upgrade it to the MAD. How close? That's almost out. As soon as this crossbow monkey gets out of range. All right, we're selling it. And we're, uh, we don't have enough for the MAD. We only, were you kidding me? We need like $20. I actually have to sell Sada. Oh, is it worth it? How much does Sada do? Does she pop balloons? It's not worth it. I got to sell Sada so I can buy. That wasn't enough to buy a mad. I'm, oh my gosh, this is sad. All right, I'm selling this just so we can get the mad. I think having this mad is going to be really, really nice. It's going to help us. 70, it has 70,000 HP left. Oh, we don't need, this guy's not even in range anymore. That's $30,000. Uh, let's think. Let's think. It's at $40,000. Or, no. This mad is destroying it. This thing does so much damage. No, this balloon doesn't stand a chance. Now that we got the mad, yeah. No, that's perfect. There we go. We won. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You're all amazing. You're all beautiful people. 
and I hope you have a great rest of your day, everyone. Remember, if you enjoyed today's video, it always helps me out tremendously by hitting the like button, subscribing, and turning on notifications. I mean, if you watch the entire video, I ho would hope to say that you liked the video, so you can always show your support. It means the world to me. Bye, everyone.